Hello, this is Bob Lessing in the Center for Biotechnology Education at Johns Hopkins University. In this exercise, we will be examining the BLAST tool. BLAST is the Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. It allows you to take a sequence and search a large database to find sequences that are related to the sequence that you input. Our objectives for today's exercise are to pick the right BLAST program, because there are several to choose from. Once you've chosen the right BLAST program, you'll want to enter the query sequence, because BLAST requires a sequence to start with, either a DNA sequence or a protein sequence. From there, we will pick the appropriate database, and there are usually a few choices there. Uh, then we'll actually run the BLAST search, look at the output, and then analyze the output based on e-values. Our starting point is the NCBI webpage, which is www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. Uh, one of the more used websites in bioinformatics. Uh, I'm going to click on the right menu. Uh, the link says BLAST. Or I could also just go to that web address, and after the NIH address, just after the slash, just type in BLAST. That'll get you there as well. There are five BLAST programs. There is nucleotide BLAST, protein BLAST, and then there are three translated BLAST searches, which are a little bit more advanced. In general, if you're going to use, a, if you're starting with a DNA sequence, you would want to use nucleotide BLAST. If you're starting with a protein sequence, you would want to use protein BLAST. So I'm going to open up the sequence that we're going to use for this exercise. And the sequence is called rat example protein. And you can see from the letter code that this is a protein sequence. These are amino acids, not just the four nucleotides. And this sequence is in FASTA format, meaning that it's got a title plus the sequence. So I can put this on the clipboard right now and copy. And because this is a protein sequence, I'm going to open up Protein Blast. Okay, now here is the Blast input page. And I can switch Blast programs using these tabs at the top menu. Uh, Enter query sequence is where you're going to want to take your starting sequence, which is our rat sequence. So I'm going to paste that in. So the sequence is in, including the title, and that will help identify the protein. And now I'm going to choose my database. The NR database, or the non-redundant database, is actually a very, very broad database that does include redundant sequences. I'm going to use a little bit higher quality uh, database, a secondary database called the reference proteins. And what that will do is limit my output so I don't get duplicate sequences in my output. Okay, the third thing I want to show is the organism line. I can limit my output to specific organism or a series of organisms. For instance, if I start to type out mammals, you see that whoops, mammals becomes one of my choices. I can click on that. I'm going to limit to human sequences, so I can just type human. I can use the Latin name as well, Homo sapiens, but human will work. Scrolling down just a little bit further, uh, the blast button will start the process. If I expanded this tab by clicking here, down below it will open some advanced parameters. If you wanted, to, if you were more familiar with advanced blast parameters, you could adjust those. Uh, we're not going to do that in this exercise. I'm just going to go right ahead and click blast, and I have got my output relatively quickly. Uh, you have some basic parameters here at the very, very top, uh, along with uh, a graphical view below that. Now let me take you right down to the actual hits. And the hits are sorted by total score from highest to lowest, but also by E or expect value from lowest to highest. And just in case uh, you're unfamiliar, the 6E minus 21 on this line uh, means 6 times 10 to the minus 21st. And what we're looking for is a very, very low E value. Uh, anything below 1 times 10 to the minus 4th can be considered homologous or related to the sequence that we started with. So essentially, all of the sequences that I'm going to highlight are relatives of that rat sequence in the human genome. Anything below that line, we can't make any conclusion about because the aligned region is a little bit too short. So there are 
about 12 homologs to that rat protein uh, in human. And if I scroll further down, I can actually see the alignment. And if you notice the first alignment, uh, there are 179 amino acids that match exactly. So uh, there are, is a good chunk of this rat protein that exactly matches the human sequence. So this is ne a nearly identical sequence. In fact, of that 179 amino acid overlap, 179 of the amino acids are identical. This is exactly the same sequence. Let me show you a sequence that's a little bit different just below it. And here we have, at the top, on the top line is the query sequence. Uh, that's what we started with. That's our rat sequence. And here is that second best hit in human at the, ver at the bottom. And then you see, see a series of letters and plus signs and spaces in between. Any time that the sequence matches exactly, in the middle you'll see a capital letter. So you see an R when there's an R against an R. And that happens 100 times. So 100 out of 179 amino acids are, ex are identical, or 55% of the amino acids are identical. Now in addition, there are some amino acids with plus signs. And for instance, there's a plus sign between this V and the I. And the V is valine, the I is isoleucine. Chemically, they are very, very similar. So the, although it's not an exact match, it's very, very close chemically. So that's considered similar. So if you notice under positives, it says 128 out of 179. Now we know 100 are already identical. So what that means is there are 28 more that are similar enough that we can call that a match. So if, if I were explaining this, I would say that these two proteins are 55% identical and 71% similar. Okay, the last thing I want to show are the, is the edit and resubmit button. Uh, if you wanted to start over, the back button isn't necessarily conducive to saving your previous search. Edit and resubmit will take you back to the BLAST main page exactly where you started, and you can make any adjustments uh, you'd like to. For instance, changing database, changing sequence, or maybe changing your output organism.